the way I see it. This is Ron's wonky perspective on life. Oh boy, today we're tackling a hot button issue. Yep, we're talking about canceling student debt. Not yours, mind you, because like most of us out there, you don't have any or didn't have any. Man, the gift that keeps on giving. Unless you're not a student, in which case it's the house party you weren't even invited to, but you still end up footing the bill. Now, imagine if your neighbor came over one day and said, hey buddy, just bought a shiny new sports car and you get to pay for it. Wait, what? After you slap the dumbass out of them, you realize there you are standing next to your 15 year old clunker that has a better chance of starting a fire than starting its engine thinking, oh hell no. Here's the kicker. Canceling student debt is like deciding everyone should get free Netflix, but only those who've binge watched five years of educational economics get to watch it. And the rest of us, well, we're still stuck paying for satellite TV that we can't seem to cancel. And for those responsible adults that paid off their student loans already, remember that house party that you weren't invited to? Thanks for coming. Time to clean up. Here's your mop. Look, I'm all for helping people out. But this whole canceling billions in student debt thing feels like we're handing out participation trophies for bad financial decisions. What about us folks who skipped the overpriced diploma mill and went straight to work? We deserve a parade, right? Maybe a ticker tape celebration with, I don't know, actual money raining down? Maybe then I could finally afford therapy to deal with all the crazy shit going on in the world. Canceling student debt universally is like handing out sunscreen on a rainy day. Sure, it might help someone in Arizona, but the rest of us out here are getting drenched wondering why we even bothered with the umbrella. Proponents say it'll stimulate the economy. Oh, it'll stimulate all right, like jumping out of a plane with a backpack instead of a parachute. It feels stimulating until you hit the ground. So hunker down, my friends, whether you're wearing your gown and tossing up your cap, or just sipping cold coffee on your way to a job that was supposed to be temporary, it seems we're all in this economics class together. And guess what? Most of those whose loans were just paid off can't even spell economics. I'm Ron Phillips, and that's the way I see it. The way I see it is only on the Daily Mojo.com.